out of YouTube. Got a project for today, a small one. I'm going to put a 12 volt outlet up in the front of the camper where there are two lights and a water pump is the only thing 12 volt up there. So at camp out when we're dry camping, I've had my stuff set up here and I had a long USB cable coming back to the Harbor Freight solar controller right here because the battery system's right under there and that's where I need to tap everything into. And my daughter has a USB right here to run a fan on her and just keep us cool out of camp out. So this is the fan I usually run up front. I just have that out. I'm going to hook it up test it. But uh, I'm going to take this up front and we're going to line it up, see if we got a good place for it and tap into probably the water pump power and get her going. So we'll get set up and be right back. All right, I gathered up all the parts out of the junk drawer and electrical box. Uh, I got the two screws for the outlet here. It'll go up into the framing right there to tuck it up in the corner right here. I'll just run the wires out when I need to plug in. I'm going to put the door back on get some new hinges before I do that. They were really rusty. Um, this is just after painting, so got a little bit of cleanup to do. The wires, once I run them, I'll tuck them in underneath with that. The wire knots, I wasn't sure which size, so I'm going to try each one. And I didn't have any red wire, so I got blue, which you'll see they have coming up from the battery is a blue hot lead and it's wire nutted in so I can just tap right into that same with the ground white coming up and I'll just run the wires up here to where I'm going to mount the outlet so first thing is to tap into the wire nuts and safety first turn off your power and make sure there's no juice so I'll do that now all right newfound respect for how youtubers can get their hands in places and do projects and still film them all right, so we have the power off, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and we are going to tap into the hot line here. Wire nut off. I'm just going to wrap this in line. Oops, same direction your nut's going to go back on. And I don't ever use the water pump always hooked into either city water or I just carry jugs along. Alright, let me screw that down. You don't want it too tight. I've actually ripped them off before, but go finger tight and give it a little tug. If nothing pulls out, then you're all set there. So I'm going to do the same with the ground here. Alright, I got our hot and the ground connected. Nice and secure with the wire nuts that were there. So we are ready to run our wires. So I'm going to take them behind this frame of the bed here and up here and they're going to come out hopefully right there. It just comes right out there and up. And then the ground wire. Alright, just going to do the basics here. I'm going to go over stripping the wire. Find your length, snip it off, had to go get the real clippers. And then take the end of your wire, find the right gauge. These are 18 gauge. Put that in the hole, spin it around a couple times and break it. And then just push with your thumb and it'll slide right off. And now you have a lead that you can tap in to where you want. Same thing here with the wire stripping. I took that one off. And this is a 16 gauge, so not sure how that's going to work on power. I'm going to have to look up before I do too much and make sure that the difference in gauge is okay. If not, we'll just run some 18 gauge in place of that, or some 16 gauge in place of that 18 that we just put in. And this one's tight. There we go. Broke loose. Up there. This had some soldering ends coming out of the box. We're going to lose those. And we are ready to tap into our wires. And all we're doing here is going to run our hot and our ground in line. 
and put our wire nuts on to cover. I think we're going with the blue ones. Yeah. Gray ones were just a little too small. So again, finger tight. Not too much. They'll just spin right out and rip apart. And our ground is here. And now we should have a fan. We grab that real quick. All off the cuff. Hopefully this works. Oh, we went and turned our power back on. So now we'll see if it works. And nope. All right. Some of you may have seen this coming. The water pump is on a switch, and when you turn it on, it pressurizes the water in the system and only runs when it needs to put more pressure through when you're using the water. So because I don't ever use it, the switch is never on, there's never power to that lead, so that's not gonna work. Uh, got a light up here. That's always got 12 volt power coming to it, so I'm gonna tap into that. I went into my electrical junk box and I got a nice little wire sheath that I'm gonna mount up here. And I think I'm just gonna run it down and mount it in the corner somewhere. So we're gonna set that up. And I'll probably leave the old videos just so you can see the wire stripping in the process, but we're going to redo it. All right, I didn't have enough blue to make this run, so I got a bigger one. Pink, it's actually a little better. Thicker wire. Uh, the, also, the sheath I had was a little too small, so I went and grabbed a larger one. All I'm going to do is start her here. Uh, I tried to fish it through, and that just kept getting hung up and twisting, so I'm just going to twist this around all the way down till I get to the other end. All right, got all this stuff wired up. It took forever to get this around, but we got it. I'm just gonna tuck these back up in here. Can't mount the camera to show this area, so I gotta do this real quick and then put you down, put it all together. So I'm just gonna put that up there like that. All right, I got the fixture back up. Get the sheath so I can put it flush against it and measure it out to the wall there. I just want to secure it with that. I'm going to see here. That's where I want it. It's really tight up here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit the, right, the screwdriver in there. Try and get to the wall. We made it. Yep, there it goes. Okay, home stretch. Have the brackets in, holding it up. Let's run down the joint there. Now we're going to wire it up again. Alright, while well, I was looking at this, I realized I haven't put my trim on yet so these joints are going to get covered up and we'll have to do some more configuring there later so I have these velcro wire ties that are awesome they wrap around each other so I'm just going to temporarily secure everything with that so that it doesn't go flying around I'll screw it down in place just so it's solid and I can plug things in and out without worrying about it but for the wires I just want to cinch them up out of the way. And that's it. Maybe. If we can get it. There we go. And they just fell through themselves. And they are out of the way. Let's screw that down right there. Since I just redid all this, I can just move this whenever I get a chance or when I'm ready. Plug the hole and retouch up paint a little bit. And that'll be good as new. Good as it is new. And that is it. And we did have the indicator light, so we know we have power now. 
no switch involved in this one. That was pretty funny. A little lesson there. Think ahead as much as you can. But when you don't do this every day, you don't always account for everything. So learn as you go. And that is it. Awesome. So now, nice secure 12 volt outlet. Don't need my six foot extension cords. And the fan runs. All right. Leave me any comments. You got any suggestions? Like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.